Now for a quick wrap of some of the other issues that came up in Parliament as well as those that were not covered because of a lack of time. Fish farmers will get some help after the mass fish deaths in recent weeks. The deaths have been blamed on a lack of oxygen and the hot weather. And authorities will help fish farmers upgrade their equipment to improve production output and help control oxygen levels for the fish. The Media Development Authority will conduct a pilot of the new arts licensing framework to enable arts groups to familiarize themselves with the issues involved. The scheme aims to empower arts groups with the responsibility of self-classifying their own performances while being mindful of community standards and expectations. Health Minister Gan Kim Yong has clarified that the FAQ on sexuality and sexual health on the Health Promotion Board's website do not encourage same-sex relationships. Mr Gan stressed that the government's policy is that the family is the basic building block of society. HPB's address of the issue on its website has sparked controversy in recent weeks. Acting Minister for Culture, Community and Youth Lawrence Wong has explained what the review of the Singapore Sports School aims to do. He says it could mean a more flexible curriculum for those with the potential to excel at the international level. And finally, since 2003, there have been a total of 177 track intrusions in the MRT network. The government has given the assurance that station staff are prepared and trained to follow standard operating procedures in dealing with such intrusions. And I'd like to leave you with a quote of the day from Parliament, one that made our top story. Singapore will not allow this military ship named Usman Harun to call at our ports and naval bases. It would not be possible for the SCF as protectors of this nation to sail alongside or exercise with this ship. And that's all from me tonight. Thanks very much for that, Sharon.